A financial storm is brewing here. The HOA, or Homeowners Association, is considering a $200,000 assessment for each and every condo owner in this neighborhood. And a lot of people may not be able to afford it. High assessment fees are causing a major financial crisis in coastal neighborhoods, just like this one. Welcome back to my channel, Orange County Living, where we provide crucial information to help you make informed real estate decisions. I'm Grant Lowell. If you haven't already, smash the subscribe button below for our latest updates. Now we're here in Louise Linden Park, overlooking the uh, Doheny State Beach, as you can see right here behind me. The reason we're here is this park is smack dab in the middle of the Dana Bluffs condo community. And this actual community is having a huge situation in the range of $200,000 assessment on every single condo. Look at these condos. Let's take a look at all of them. And some of the owners here, unfortunately, just don't have $200,000 lying around. So these condos were all built in 1974. And a lot of these people who live here are original owners and they paid a relatively low price, less than $100,000 for these condos when they were new, which is incredible considering this awesome ocean view that they have. Now the condos have gone up. Like let's go forward in time from 1974, let's say for the year 2000. In the year 2000, the, all these condos were selling for about $400,000, give or take. Some less, some more. The front row was with the ocean, the fantastic unobstructed ocean views. They were selling for 450. The HOA fee was around $253 a month. Very affordable, right? Well, time advanced we had inflation pretty serious bout of inflation worse than we've seen since the 80s um, in the last four years and that inflation has caused prices of everything to go up including HOA fees but maintenance have has gone up materials has have gone up everything's gone up so the HOA fee here is now in the low 700s it's around $730 every month now. So the HOA fee is a lot higher, but the value of these condos have also gone up. These condos should be selling for over $3 million. However, because of this litigation, or not litigation, but assessment that's coming. Oh, I hear the train. Check this train out. It's a surf liner. But because of this assessment that we have on the HO or have on every owner, nobody wants to buy here because they don't know what it's going to be like. So that's where your opportunity comes in. Submitting an offer on one of these many condos that are for sale will actually give you a leg up on the future competition you have after this assessment is, is settled. So once the assessment is settled, and they improve the fronts of all these condos, they're gonna be worth a lot more. Here is some insider footage of a recent HOA meeting showing a rendering of what these condos are proposed to look like. It's gonna be a lot better and obviously worth a lot more. And when they're worth more, they're gonna be selling well, well over $3 million for the front row, like three and a half. Right now they're selling for like two and a half. So if you wanna have an ocean view condo, now is the time to buy. Now I've been telling all the people who have purchased condos for me here not to sell right now because the market is depressed. If you can avoid selling, if you could just pay the assessment fee, that'd be great. If you can't afford it, I understand you may need to sell. However, holding out is going to be your best bet. Now, um, this same situation is being replicated all up and down the coast. There's condos everywhere. There's condos over there. There's condos over there. Uh, as far as the eye can see, all the way 
up into LA County, all the way down to San Diego County. There's condos everywhere. And there's a lot of this age that are having to have a lot of work done. And that work is even more expensive than it's ever been. One of the things driving up the cost of the work is insurance. All the workers have to have insurance. They have to be licensed. So that's going to be more expensive now because the cost of insurance has gone up. But not only workmen's compensation uh, insurance has gone up, but the insurance cost of the condos have gone up. For the HOA, they have to insure the exterior of all the condos. All the owners have something called walls in coverage. So everything on the inside of the condo is covered by the homeowner and it's or the condo owner and it's a lot less expensive. However, it's gone up like everything else and added to the expenses. A lot of the people who own in here are retirees. Imagine you're 76 years old. You're retired and you have a fixed income. You don't work and you get hit with this huge assessment. What are you going to do? A lot of people say, we just can't afford it. It's impossible. Um, they paid a hundred, they, maybe the original owner, they paid seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 for the condo when it was new. They had a $100 HOA fee in that range. Very affordable, right? But back then that was a, you know, that's a significant amount of money. But now it's, it's really not. It's, it's, you can't get anything for that now. But these people are, are kind of trapped in their homes because they can't move and find something cheaper. I mean, everything is expensive now. The average price home in Orange County, single family detached, is over $1.3 million now. Now, I don't know if you're looking for a home right now, but if you've calculated the expenses at $1.3 million, these people are, are, are stuck. And it's not a good situation to be in. And... Uh, the solution is there's, they get three options. They can refinance, they can sell, or they can pay cash for the uh, assessment. So, but one way or another, every single owner here has to come up with $200,000. And it's for all this deferred maintenance that hasn't been, been done over the last what, 50 years exactly 50 years old this year this whole community is the maintenance has not kept up so all new roofs they're talking about upgrading the the fronts of all the condos while they're at it and all that's got to be paid for see condos have the hoas have two different funds there's the operating fund and the reserves now the operating fund that those are the that, those are the the funds that cover all the usual things like lawn mowing, um, street maintenance. Uh, a lot of condos pay for trash. Um, some even pay for water, and that's the that comes out of the operating fund. But the reserve fund that's for the major expenses that the condo community um, encounters. Like everyone needs a new roof, or these are 40 years old, everyone's getting a slab leak, everyone gets repiped. Those are major expenses, sometimes in the millions. I happen to know that in this particular neighborhood, the expenses that they're talking about is 22, in the range of $22 million. And that's why each owner has about $200,000 of an assessment. And it's not only the assessment that's high, but the HOA fees are probably going to go up a little bit too. So, big wave coming, and it's happening all over the state, but especially in coastal communities where the uh, wear and tear, the salt air, the uh, increased weather, because there's nothing shielding these condos from that the largest ocean in the world and weather coming in constantly. So nothing's shielding these condos from the onslaught of the Pacific Ocean. So there you have it. Well, look at these homes behind me. These, these are homes that border the Dana Bluffs neighborhood. 
but they are amazing. Uh, they're also multi, multi-million dollar homes. But that's the thing about homes, single family detached homes. You have negotiating power because you're just negotiating for your home and you're paying for it. And you don't have to go with a huge group of 100 other people and try to get a deal. And no one could decide what they want. No one could decide what vendor it should be or what contractor should do the work, what general contractor it is. Eventually they decide, yes. But negotiating is a lot harder when you have so many people involved. There's the sign at Dana Bluffs right here. Dana Bluffs, private. So, anyway, you know, this situation will resolve itself in time. People will sell, people will, will, will do a HELOC, home equity line of credit and get cash out and pay for it. Some will just get financing. So one of the things that's proposed for people that don't have the $200,000 assessment fee is financing. So the HOA is actually offering financing at a little bit higher than normal rates, in my personal opinion. A uh, better solution might be to take out a home equity line of credit. The owners here have huge amounts of equity by and large, so that would be a way out. And um, doing that would actually be, I think, a better solution because it allows you to go to the open market and negotiate the rates on the eight, on the HELOC, the home equity line of credit. So you're not paying an absorbent interest rate that you would if you're locked into the financing that the HOA Homeowners Association is offering. Now, as far as the future outlook for this community, um, it doesn't look good because if you can't afford this in the future, you know, costs are not going down. So if you can't afford this assessment, you know, there's going to be more in the future. And the HOA fees, they tend to go only in one direction, and that's up. So I would highly recommend, if you can afford this, just sell. And find someplace more affordable inland. Because uh, even though it's beautiful here, you know, a lot of people have just been priced out. That's all there is to it. So uh, it will resolve itself. It, you know, one thing that you always want to remember in real estate, everything can be fixed. Just a matter of time, money, and expertise. And that's why going with an agent like myself, it gives you the knowledge that you need to make the appropriate decision for your unique situation is so important. Going with a family member that's brand new in real estate may be a huge mistake. Um, I've been doing this over 22 years and I've seen a lot and you can't go wrong with someone that's been doing it as long as I have that's as honest and professional as I am so anyway back to the situation here at Dana Bluffs and this is uh, just a perfect example of what's going on all up and down the state so I really appreciate you watching and coming to the channel Orange County Living and watching me, Grant Lowell, try to help you make sense of this whole situation by giving the information that you need to know about. Thanks very much.